Hey beauties, what is up? Welcome back to my little corner of the internet. In today's video, we're gonna be doing our new makeup releases. And yes, I am sans makeup. I just don't have it in me today, guys. <laughs> I just came back from a work trip. I am getting back into it. So I decided that this weekend was gonna be a rest weekend for my face. So no makeup, no nothing. Plus this little friend here came to visit and I was like, absolutely not. No ma'am. So I took that as an indication that I needed to give my face some time to rest and recuperate. So you get in bare face today, okay? Now what I'm gonna do for today's video is just go through all of the new makeup releases on Makeup on Your Radar's Instagram page and just talk about it. I will say straight up, I'm not buying anything till Black Friday. It is November 5th, which means Black Friday is tomorrow. So like, we could wait two weeks. I'm just saying, I know things are still releasing, but give yourself two weeks because we could wait. And from what I can tell, a lot of these sales are gonna start probably within a week or so. So, you know, just be prepared and don't get caught up in buying things on release because trust me, not worth it whatsoever. Now, there's a little bit of a spiel, but if this is your first time joining me, Welcome, I am Jamila. I love all things beauty and makeup. I particularly enjoy indie and luxury makeup, and I don't believe in paying full price for makeup, so on my channel, I like to talk about the best ways to save the most money in this beauty market. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna scooch over to the side so I can insert some pictures, and let's, dri da let's drive, yeah, let's drive into these releases. Okay, so starting off at the top, and I'll work my way to the bottom. One quick thing, thing Thing. One quick thing to note is that the Sephora VIB sale is still going on. It ends today, November 6th, so make sure you get your final orders in if there's anything you were looking to pick up. But just as a reminder, Black Friday, it'll be right there. So try to stick to like the Gucci's, the Dior's, those products that don't typically have like a Black Friday sale. You know, luxury brands don't exactly be discounted. <laughs> Um, so they don't really follow the Black Friday rules. So those type of brands I think are really safe to buy during Black the Sephora VIB sale. But everything else at this point, it's not worth it. Black Friday is gonna be right here. Okay, so Davina Cosmetics. Ooh, it looks like they're releasing a palette. Their first palette ever. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Um, now they are a indie makeup brand. They do singles primarily. So this is gonna be their first palette, which is going to be quite interesting. Um, and I say that from a cost perspective. Typically these brands that sell indie single shadows, they typically range from 15 to like 24, $25 a shadow. So I'm hoping that with a palette, it doesn't come up to be super expensive because that's what I've seen, you know, like they, price the palette at the cost of what the single shadows would be collectively. And I just think there should be a discount, you know what I mean? Um, because like if your, if your eyeshadows are $24 a piece and you get five, like that's ridiculous, you know what I mean? So hopefully that will not be insanely priced. So you'll be in the shop for Black Friday, which maybe it comes at a discount. I don't know uh, if you'll get a discount versus the real price. And they're saying that today they'll be doing a live YouTube video releasing the palette. I didn't even know they had a YouTube, so, okay. And it's 7, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm on the East Coast. I don't know what Central Standard Time is in conversion. Plus, today is the day that they roll back the hour. So, <laughs> oh, you know, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out and I'll get there. Um, anyways, moving along. I spent way too much time on that. Ensley Rain Cosmetics is sneak peeking another palette. This is the Lands of Enchantment. I don't know, but it feels like there's so much products being released this fall. Like, I feel like we had a really nice pace in like the, you know, spring, early part of the year. And then fall, it's like, let's release everything. It is actually quite overwhelming. And I think part of that is contributing to why I have no interest in picking anything up because it's too much. And you know, Christmas is right around the corner. You have to buy people Christmas gifts. And I don't know about you all, but I'm assuming a lot of us are also traveling for the holidays as well, whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas to see fat friends and family or whatever. So, you know, these plane tickets not cheap no more. I mean, they never were, but they're a different kind of expensive to fly nowadays. So I can't be affording these, these eyeshadow palettes, but it just feels like the rate of release has increased significantly in, the past like month or so starting with them halloween releases oh and yes i already have my christmas mug out because i'm ready for christmas just saying also quick break because my lips are dry 
So I'm just going to throw on the Blend Bunny Sickly, well this is the black lip oil, black sugar. <laughs> I know I look crazy, I look like the living dead. Is it the living, the walking dead? Yeah, because living dead doesn't, does that? Okay, I'm getting carried away. Let's move along. Now I feel like my black lip is distracting, but you know, let it go. It is what it is. This is my favorite lip oil formula. And this is a cool one for Halloween. It definitely will go over nicely on top of some lip products. Um, but it's more of a gray than it is a, like a true black, just, just so you know. Y'all don't care, let's move along. Okay, so Glaminatrix, they have a new Fairy Lights palette. This looks like a set of six almost topper-like shades. You see, on the light, um, they look like toppers with a very light base to it. On the dark, um, they look like they have a little bit more body and punch to it in terms of the swatches. It's going to be $40. That's not bad. Uh, you know, it is kind of bad. $40 for six shades is a bit pricey. I'm just looking at how sparkly and multidimensional these look which does make me, you know, feel like, oh, that's not bad, but I don't know. So the thing about Glaminatrix, and I've said this before, is that they are, a, they are an Australian-based brand, which means that when I consider whether it's worth shopping from them, I also have to take into account what it costs to ship their products to the United States, and that's not cheap. So $40 plus, let's average about $20 in shipping, that's $60 for six shades. And these are, they're calling it um, intense, sparkling, reflective shimmers. One is a holographic. They're pretty, but they can also be very easily duped in my opinion. So I wouldn't say that you have to go out to your way to buy this from Glaminatrix, especially if it's gonna cost you a lot in shipping. If you live in Australia, 100%, yeah, go for it. But if you live in the US, I do think that there are a number of indie brands here that you can dupe the palette with. So going back to Divina Cosmetics, they are on a roll. Again, these brands are releasing a lot and I feel like, anyways, moving along. So there is gonna be a brush set as well as an eye base and a sparkle and shimmer glue base. So it looks like there'll be an eye primer as well as like a glitter glue plus the brushes. Okay. Um, I guess it's available now. No, it's gonna be available on Black Friday. There's no details on what the price will look like, and I wonder if they'll also sneak this in their little video that they're gonna do tonight. But we shall see. So Kali Bible has a new brand. Okay, I have no idea who this is, and I'm just being very transparent. I know that she did a collab with ABH way back in the Waybacks. That was when I was like a baby to makeup, so I was getting all of the ABH palettes. I didn't know who anybody was. I knew who Jackie Ina was. Um, but I had no idea who Kali Bible was. I still don't watch her videos, but I feel like she's one of those old school YouTubers who's been doing this for a while. So this is her own brand, um, the Beauty by the Beauty Bible. I thought it was the Beauty by Bible, but no, it's just the Beauty Bible. And I'm not sure what the collection is going to include for the first drop, but it does look like there is a makeup palette. Oh wait, no, there's a lot of things. So there's gonna be an 18 color eyeshadow palette, some matte lipsticks, some cream lip liners, some matte lip liners, sorry, some creamy matte lip liners, some high shine glosses, some highlighters, and an eyeliner. Okay, stereotypical, I think, first release because you know, most people, most brands are not gonna go into their release doing complexion products. So I think that that's fair. Am I interested? Maybe if I see the palettes and what the products actually look like, in terms of what the products they mentioned are, honestly, no. I don't need any more matte lipsticks. I don't need any more lip glosses, any of that. Maybe if the eyeshadow palette looks nice, I might be interested. But quite frankly, I don't need no new brands to follow. I am so I am branded out. And it takes a lot for me to get hype about a new brand coming onto the scene. So it's going to be like a hard pass for me, I think, just generally. So there's a new fragrance by Arielle Shoshana. I have no idea who this is. $175. Why? And this bottle just looks top heavy and kind of weird. So the notes are lavender, lemon zest, black tea, steamed milk, sandalwood, vanilla, amber. I mean, it sounds nice, but 
like oh i love fragrances and i don't talk about it on my channel for a couple of reasons one i'm not good at describing the notes in terms of fragrances because for me <laughs> i don't really know what most of them are like i could tell you what a vanilla is but i am not really sure like what the other things really be you know like i I don't know what steamed milk smells like. I don't know how to describe that, you know? So I don't really talk about fragrances, but I do like fragrances. How I like to think about fragrances is how they make me feel for the most part. Like, oh, this feels really nice and sexy. This reminds me of being on an island. This is very like smoky and woodsy or date nighty. Like that's kind of how my brain registers fragrance. So <laughs> there's that, um, but okay. $175 for a perfume. I will say if you guys are interested in fragrances and you want to try them out before you commit to like the real deal, which can be stupid expensive, try Dossier or Dossier. I, I like to say Dossier. Dossier. Anyways, um, they do dupe really expensive high-end brands like the Tom Fords, like um, the Chanel's, all of those, they dupe them and it's less than like $40 each. So... I definitely recommend that. You can see how you like the fragrance. You can see how it like feels against your body chemistry because everything kind of changes a little bit depending on your chemistry. Um, and then maybe after that, you can commit to the full thing. But don't just go out straight out and buy a $200 bottle of perfume, um, <laughs> at least without spelling it first because I don't even know where this is going to be available. But I'm not spending $200 on something that I can't smell beforehand, you know? Anyways. Let's keep on moving. So Makeup Revolution has a Wizard of Oz collection. Ooh, this looks so cheap and ooh, hi. Why does this look so cheap? Okay, I know why it looks cheap, but I'm just saying it looks like extra cheap. What is that little shoe thing? Y'all, I'm not a drugstore girly, so this definitely doesn't appeal to me but this is quite affordable it looks like there are two sets uh emerald city is 33 dollars and 60 cents yellow brick road is 14 dollars okay y'all don't care about makeup revolution i don't know why i'm sitting here looking at that so burberry they have a new setting and refining powder i'm intrigued Partly because the way this powder is designed is that there is this white, looks like a white powder in the center and then a deeper powder or like a complexion shade powder surrounding it. Now that white powder is quite large in my opinion compared to the complexion powder. And from what I can tell, it looks like the intent is that you mix it around to get the perfect sort of color for you. So it says, swipe swipe your brush across the two-in-one powder. Start from the center of the face, focusing on the T-zone. And the swatches look like you get varying levels of depth. So if you were to mix the inner powder with the inner powder with the outer powder, you can get different levels of depth. I think that's a cool concept. I think it's kind of hard in theory because powder brushes are naturally large. So how are you like you have to get the tiniest brush to mix it around in the center shade and then get the perfect amount of the outer shade and then if you use just a super large brush to swirl everything around like what like how does that work so it sounds good in theory but i just feel like the design of the white powder is extremely large it takes up the majority of the pan in my opinion so if you really just wanted the outer powder i don't know if you could actually do that i'm going really deep into the mechanics of this <laughs> for no reason but i'm just like huh interesting but I don't think quite practical the price of this is gonna be $48.50 that's very expensive for a powder but I'm guessing that they are looking at this as being very versatile because each arm has four swatches on it so I guess they're like oh well you could get four shades out of it I don't think that's a real thing but um okay good for them so makeup a murder that's an interesting name has and I'm guessing that's the name of the brand, has a new limited edition collection called Murder House. I like my true crime, but I'm also not somebody that likes to play like this. You know what I mean? Um, so the collection comes in 
a murder house. So they say that they're launching a murder house, a crime scene house with hidden evidence inside. You'll be investigating one eyeshadow palette, four waterproof eyeliners, and five waterproof lipsticks. The original price of the collection is $96.07. Uh, you could save 10% with an affiliate code, which would bring it down to $87.03. Now, objectively speaking, this is well priced because you're getting an eyeshadow palette, four eyeliners, and five lipsticks for eighty-seven dollars. Objectively speaking, feelingsly speaking, I know feelingsly is not a word, but feelingsly speaking, I don't want this. <laughs> like I said, I'm a true crime junkie. I love true crime. But this kind of gory, no, I don't, I don't, I'm okay. I'm, I'm not here for it. I don't know, I feel like that's just me open my, it opening my door for evil spirits to come and haunt me and disturb my spirit and my peace. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm a little bit superstitious. I will fully admit that. But not today, Satan. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Anyways. <laughs> It just, because the, th the thing about it is I, like I said, I listen to and I watch a lot of like crime documentaries and I, I do like it for the, the educational perspective of it and to hear these stories, but I don't want to glamorize it and profit off of it like that. You know what I mean? It's, and it's okay when something just rubs your spirit the wrong way and you can't really put words into why you're not into it that's completely fine and that's how i feel right now whereas my spirit is a little bit disturbed and unsettled and it's like no no jamila not today and that's fine so if you feel the same way that i do about this please let me know because i'm getting like really icky about it oh oh shivers anyways let's move along before the devil comes anyway <laughs> okay so tiffany and company also they have a fragrance release it's available at um, ulta it's the rose gold intense eau de parfum it's a in the floral family and the keynotes are pink pepper orange flower and patchouli again what does pink pepper smell like you see what i mean how does one describe that um, so it looks like it's going to come in a couple of sizes and the price will be either $102, $140, $173. $100. I will say I think this bottle is glorious. This looks so bougie, so cute. I want it just for the bottle. I am definitely not buying it until I smell it. It is available at Ulta, so if I see it in stores and I am able to, to smell it, this would be something that I might consider picking up with like a 20% off coupon. Um at Ulta, especially if it is not excluded from like the prestige coupons. Uh, but it is really pretty. <clears throat> it's this beautiful like rose gold bottle, stunning. Okay, so Moira Cosmetics, they have some glitter gels. Oh, I love the price of this brand. Fun, funny story, fun fact. I have a basket of Moira Cosmetics products that I bought at like 2 a.m. one morning. I don't know what I was going through, but clearly I was going through something. But like I bought all of these products <laughs> and they were really, really affordable. I haven't tried them yet, but they look so beautiful. They have beautiful packaging, beautiful embossing. And I think that they are proof that you can do beautifully packaged products, even Glamlight, beautifully packaged products without calling for all these stupid expensive prices. Now the difference between this and Glamlight is I haven't tried the quality of Moira, so I can't tell you if it's good or not yet, but I have tried the quality of Glamlight and it is superb. It is spectacular. So if Glamlight could do it at their price point and fingers crossed Moira can also do it at their price point, all these other brands need to miss me with their talks about, oh, everything's so expensive, blah, blah, blah. Man, okay. Anyways, I don't use these. <laughs> I went on this whole roundabout thing, but the fact of the matter is I don't use these glitter gel thingy my bumps. I'm not going to be buying it, but it might be cute for, I don't know what it'll be cute for. I'm not going to lie. If you like your little glitter, then this might be your thing, but I'm just not putting glitter on my face. So Trixie Cosmetics has some new blushes. Oh my God, that orange. The, oh, I guess they just restocked it. Never mind. They say guess who's back. So... 
oh no wait hold up new formula and new packaging so it is new so it's a new and improved formula um and it's available in four shades right now whatever that orange shade is is glorious but i will put orange everywhere if i could so that's pretty good molecules they have a hydrating facial cleansing gel oh so this is the same thing so they actually just renamed it it was the rose water daily cleansing gel and now it's the hydrating facial cleansing gel i'm curious as to whether or not the formulation has changed like did they take out the rose water unclear but I will say that Good Molecules is probably my favorite skincare brand right now. It's extremely affordable, extremely gentle. If you have acne prone skin, sensitive skin, honestly, it's an excellent, excellent brand. Uh, and this is just $12. So price point is also chef's kiss. They do a pretty good Black Friday sale. So I would just, I would definitely say wait for that. And they also oftentimes will do like a skincare fridge too for Black Friday. I used to have me a skincare fridge. I don't anymore. One, because it takes up a lot of space. And two, it really was kind of gimmicky. Like, let's all agree that that skincare fridge phase that we were in was a bit of a gimmick. So, I kind of am like, why am I doing this? If you really want to, put your eye patches in the fridge. Like your regular food fridge, you'll be fine. Uh, unless you have the space for it and you want to have it on your makeup desk or wherever it is you get ready in the morning, that's fine. But quite frankly... Once mine broke, and it really did just stop working, <laughs> I never repurchased it because I was like, oh, I don't really need it. You know what I mean? Okay, so Attitude Cosmetics, they have a brand new collection coming out. Now, I, I am supposed to receive this in PR, and this is no fault of the brands whatsoever, but they did send it out to me weeks ago. This is a UK-based brand, and it was shipping like normal, and then suddenly the tracking notification said return to sender. So I don't know what happened. I'm blaming USPS. So now the brand is sending me it um, again. So hopefully it gets here soon. Because it's a UK based brand, it will take a little bit of time. And I know there are a couple of other videos up for you guys already. So definitely check those out. But as soon as I get it, I will definitely um, be filming with it. I love the first palette that they sent me. That Man Eater palette. Talk about Listen, that was quality, and that has the blackest black shade I have ever seen and ever used in my life. It was perfection. And honestly, you all know it takes me a lot to get excited by a new brand and a new like eyeshadow formula and a new quality these days because I feel like pretty much everything has ever been done. But I was blown away, you guys. And I went in with no expectations. I had no idea what was going on. I was like, Let me, we gonna see today. And you all know I have no like preconceived thoughts or like loyalty to any brand but I really was impressed with that and I cannot wait to get this one the color story is just beautiful like you get the blues the greens the reds oh my god it's just perfection so let me just give you all the details on the collection as I ramble on the palette is going to be $45.07 now this is the, the price is going to sound a little bit weird because, again, UK-based brand, they price in pounds. So when you do the conversion, you're going to get a little bit of that funky sense thing going on. So $45.07 for the pa uh, palette. There are going to be lashes that are going to be $9.74 each. Pigments that are going to be $14.61 each. Uh, a dimension highlighter, which is going to be $14.61. Transition highlighter, $21.92. Interesting as to why those two different highlighters are different prices. Uh, a silicone applicator set is going to be $14.61, and then the full collection is going to be available for $146.20. Now, this is not limited edition, so it will be restocked. Um, so don't feel like you have to rush out and purchase this. I don't know about Black Friday sales for this brand or any brand that's based outside the U.S., because... Thanksgiving is like an American holiday. So, you know, the whole Black Friday thing is a very American thing. So not all brands are going to follow the American sales thing. So just something to keep in mind as you're shopping. Think about where a brand is based because they are not going to follow American standards. It's the same thing with like Glaminatrix and the palettes that they're releasing now are spring and summer palettes because 
they live in a whole different side of the world. <laughs> and while we are heading into winter, they are heading into summer. So they are not going to be releasing winter palettes for their summer. You know what I mean? So just something to keep in mind as you are looking at some of these brands. Remember that not everybody's in America. Not everyone is in the US and not everyone follows the US rules, customs, norms. Ooh, this is pretty. So Floresis has a new advent calendar. This brand is just so darn cute. I, <laughs> everything that they release is just absolutely stunning to look at and seems like it needs to be on a shelf just displayed. I can't lie that they have probably the most beautiful, intricate, and honestly kind of classic timeless packaging like it, it does feel a little bit more old school a little bit more like intricate and not like super trendy but very classic pieces anyways i don't know what's in this advent calendar but it does say like there are a couple full sizes a couple travel sizes pro products um and it's gonna cost 209 dollars I can't tell you what the value is or what the quality is, but 209 for 12 products. I can't math right now. Some full size, some travel size. Oh, maybe. I don't know. But it's pretty. Don't buy things just because it's pretty, you guys. That that's dumb. Don't be like me. Okay, so Danessa Myricks has a new foundation brush for the I saw her use it particularly with her balm powder. It's gonna be $30. I want this brush. Now I was in Boston uh, last week for a week trip and it just so happened that there were two Sephora's very close to my hotel. Um, and yes, <laughs> when I go places, I try to Google to see if there's a Sephora nearby. Um, and not just if there's a Sephora nearby. When I, whenever I travel, especially if I'm traveling for a week, I am going to find something to do in the city or the town or the state that I'm in. So I'm always looking for something to explore, something to do. But because I also love makeup, I do see if there's just like a mall or a Sephora nearby. And there were two nearby. So one of them was a flagship store. They had an entire Danessa Myricks uh, display. And typically Danessa Myricks will have like an end cap in some of these stores, unless it's like one of the flagship stores. And all of the products were there, which I was really excited to buy because I have the balm powder in the invisible or translucent shade as well as in number seven. Seven is too light for me. I cannot use that as a face powder uh, because it, it is too light. Um, and I do want to get one that I can use as just a, hey, I'm going to put this on my face and that's it. Like literally like a five minute face look. Um, and when I saw Danessa apply this to her face, I was like, yes, ma'am. Because she just took that brush, did a little swirly swirl and was like, so, my plan is during her Black Friday sale to buy this brush, plus buy the new shade in her powder, which is 8.5, because she does have an 8, but the 8 is orange, and I mean straight up orange. I don't know how else to tell it. It's like a straight up orange shade. So, 7 was too light, 8 was hella orange, and now this 8.5 is like a neutral leaning shade with a hint of yellow to it. So, it's like neutral golden, I would say, which I don't know if that actually makes sense, but I'm going to get the 8.5 shade get the brush, get her new light wigs palette, and maybe a couple metals. I have big plans for Danessa on Black Friday, just saying. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so that was that's a brush, $30. Might be a little bit on the pricey end for a brush, but I saw the vision when she actually used it to apply it to her face. I was like, wow, this could really be one of those like five minute face products. Anyways, moving along, because this video is already starting to get long. Notoriously Morbid, they, uh, they, I believe it's available now. So it's the Bog Witch palette. This is pretty. It's this beautiful green, mossy green, lime greeny palette with a random pink shade in there. I don't know. But it looks like it's a pinkish green. Anyways, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. $29.99. Fairly priced in my opinion. You can also use affiliate codes to save 15% off. Radar 15 will save you 15 or Frizz Face 15. I think that's Kara's code or Beauty and the Frizz 15. One of those. Use either one. Save yourself 15% off. That being said, I'm going to assume that they're going to have a Black Friday sale. Now they say that this will be the last release before their Black Friday launch. So I, I don't know y'all. Now... 
I also don't know how Notoriously Morbid is currently doing with their shipping times. Last I heard, y'all were waiting two months for your palettes. And I don't know about y'all, but that's a long time for something that does not claim to be a pre-order. Because two months is a pre-order in my opinion. So if you are buying a product and the wait time is two months, that is kind of unacceptable, especially if it's not specified as a pre-order. And I get it. The brand does put their turnaround time on the website in terms of um, how long it takes. And I think it was supposed to be four to six weeks, but that should be a pre-order. You know what I mean? Either way, do I want this? Yes, absolutely. But one, I'm going to wait until Black Friday. And two, I'm really going to marinate on this because if it's going to take me two months, that means I'm going to get it in January. So I don't know if I'm willing to wait that long. So in terms of me prioritizing my Black Friday list, because that's something that I'm also thinking about right now, I need to really go through and cut because my eyes are bigger than my wallet. So I'm going to have to, you know, give a lot of thought to what I actually can and cannot purchase right now. And this might just be off the list. And I'm hurting saying that because I want this so badly. Okay, let's just do a couple more. So I saw Cara talk about this and I cracked up. Cara Beauty, they are <laughs> releasing the Creative Beauty Palette. Now the palette comes in the cookie, you know them Christmas cookie tin? <laughs> and I'm like, so you just want to trigger people some more because everybody knows come Christmas time, you would, this, this tin would have cookies in it. And then the rest of the year, it would just be filled with sewing supplies. So I think that this is kind of creative one because it is the cookies that you see at Christmas time. And I know people don't like it, but I actually like the cookies. I thought that they tasted good. I still do. So, um, and what makes this even funnier is that when you open up the palette, it is like a sewing kit palette. So a couple of the shades are in the shape of buttons. <laughs> I don't, oh, oh, that's what that is. It looks like there's a makeup sponge, but you know the sewing sponge that they used to choke pins into? That's what that is supposed to be. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Um, <laughs> so I see the vision. I think it's absolutely hilarious. Um, I don't know how much this is going to cost but it's a pre-order and it'll be shipped by the 9th <laughs> um these are not my shades though so i do these kind of look real dusty and ashy in terms of the, the shades so i'm not interested in this but damn this is funny as hell uh there are also two brushes that come in the collection um and the kevin hart face that they put to promote this it's freaking hilarious i I think that this is so funny. Maybe it's just me, but I am having the time of my life cracking up over this. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that's funny. Okay, uh, so you guys may have already seen this, but Simply Plush Cosmetics, I talked about this last time. They finally did release the, um, release the collection for the Cozy Cabin release. So it is an eyeshadow palette plus a face palette. Really, really beautiful. I don't think I'm gonna get any of this. Um, I just don't need it. I really don't. And as we're playing cut that wish list, <laughs> this is one that is easy to like get cut um, from it. So beautiful palette, beautiful face palette, just not for me in my opinion. I keep seeing this, saying this is the last thing, but uh, I'm almost done, I promise. So Wayne Gloss has released some brushes. These look absolutely beautiful. They are um, handmade, uh, natural hair brushes, really, really expensive as these always are. Like the full collection is $449. If you want the face set, it's gonna be $291. If you want the eye set, it's gonna be $158. Again, very, very expensive, but this is on par with Sonia G and all those other Fude brushes. In terms of the packaging, I do kind of find this quite disappointing. Like this looks like Refa handles in my humble, very humble opinion. I am not a Fude expert, so I can't tell you anything about like how these handles were crafted 
Um, but they look like Rafa handles. Now, Sonia G does feel, in my opinion, or look, in my opinion, a little bit more luxurious because I haven't held this one, obviously, but you guys will have to let me know. And it does seem like these have a kind of, sort of more pointy um, tip to them. But, yeah, that's really it for me. And I don't really buy from Wayne Goss because he refuses to expand his shade range and a lot of things. Um, and that's totally fine. It's his his decision. Uh, and I don't know if I talked about this, but Huda Beauty has released her Pretty Grunge collection. It's gonna have an eyeshadow palette. You all know she does one big eyeshadow palette release for the year. Uh, it looks like there's a highlighter, some lip glosses, or some liquid lipsticks with a lip liner. And is that more lip liquid lipsticks? Yeah, so some matte lipsticks, a blush gloss. Huh? Why? I will give Huda this, that she likes to be innovative, you know, adding like her cream kind of petri dish formulas to her palette. Um, the blush gloss says that it adjusts to the skin's pH. I do think we've all come to realize that pH balance thingamabobs are quite gimmicky. So it feels a little old school to bring that back. Um, and also, is that going to dry down? Like, I don't want my lips, my, my cheeks glossy. Like, is it going to be sticky? Y'all have to let me know if you try that. But, um, no thank you. Anyways, that is, I think, enough. <laughs> enough for today. Let me scooch back into the middle and then we'll wrap up today's video. Whew. So that's it for me, guys. Um, I have to take this lip oil off. I look like the living dead, like a walking carcass that just rose up from the grave to come and haunt all you. Jesus. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me, hanging with me for this new makeup releases video. If you enjoyed it, I would absolutely love if you would leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about the new releases. Are things you plan, are any of those things you plan on picking up, whether it be now or during the upcoming Black Friday sales? Leave all of that in the comments below. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me. You know it's a vibe over here. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much more than you know. See y'all later and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!